hello uh, this is a bit detailed video on uploading your first code or a blink led code on the black pill variant stm32 f401 cc u6 uh, so here while uploading you will be covering uh, like what kind of ide to be used and here i am using uh, stm32 cube id and then along with it like what programmer can be used like a simple one and easily available uh, that I'll be covering and then the initial setup of the cube ID uh, and uh, the small programming of uh, a blink program uh, with blinking of LED so this is what will be covered in a little bit detailed manner and uh, let us get started uh, after you open the cube ID click on new uh, I mean file new and stm32 project I will start the initialization process and um, most probably if internet is connected and you have selected the recommended options it will download the latest files and these are fine minor things and um, right now it is not necessary to connect any uh, external programmer just a cube ID is fine like after we uh, write our code and debug at that point if we connect uh, stm32 a programmer or kind of thing that's enough so right now it's fine uh, so that's why I started with the cube ID itself and these are the programs that I've already written so you don't have to worry about it if this part and project explorer is empty for you and it's still initializing like now it has come here in this commercial part number I'm writing the variant name and then I'm selecting stm 32401 cc u6 and click on next and then you can give any project name and I'm using the C language only um, and the other things you can keep at normal so let me give a, a file name I mean the project name and then finish so it will load our uh, all the files required for um, our stm 32 project so it will take few uh, minutes I mean less than a minute most probably so let's wait for it So now it has opened it for us. So now I'll show you the basic um, configurations. Uh, this is pin out and configuration page. Uh, so this is our project black pill upload code. Here uh, right now we are, uh, yeah. If you go, come to this source, this main file is what where you will write code. And this IOC file is where you will be able to configure things. like. Uh, pin out uh, timers and uh, timers is an important thing uh, just like if you click on the pin you will be able to see the properties of the pin analog it has ADC I'm just showing I'm clicking everywhere just to see like clock configuration right now it is in 16 megahertz mm. uh, okay uh, this is a programmer that i'm using st link v2 uh, this is uh, compatible with stm8 and stm32 but i have tried with stm32 uh, variants uh, so here this is black pill which is having uh, four pins uh, four uh, holes over here for, over which we can connect uh, male uh, bent kind of male pins and uh, through that you can connect female to female wires like this and connect it to the respective pins on the STM, ST, uh, STM, ST link v2 programmer this one so here I can say the first one is serial clock SW clock SW clock will come over here uh, like this is then SW uh, SW data input output this will come next Uh, then 3.3 volts is very simple like it is the same and here it is ground so I think these four pins is what I will be for uh, be, uh, we need to connect and then uh, uh, the connections are over like only with these four pins we'll be able to program I hope uh, uh, it is clear this SW clock is over here and STI was over here and the ground and uh, 
3.3 should be easily understood you can connect like this so this is how the connection goes i hope this connection is clear if and that's all is required for programming so let's move on uh, let us set uh, one of the pin as gpa output here pc 13 is the pin i'm setting as gpa output and let's click on save and automatically generate code like if we click on it it will generate code uh, so, um, this code is just the default code uh, here the black pill upload code that is our folder i mean this file uh, project uh, so in this project uh, main.c file is what i am showing right now uh, in this uh, in the main function inside that there's white loop so inside by loop is where whatever the code we need to uh, want to repeat we will write so i'm writing just about user code end while so for this while loop this is where the code ends so whenever you write any line always try to keep it in the block where um, it is like user code end it's about that so that our code is not erased every time we save that is one thing so i'm using hl gpio write pin uh, this function to uh, set the pin number 13 so gpio c in the c uh, group of it this gpio pin is there and we are setting it and after some delay of maybe one second that is thousand milliseconds it is again make it reset that is make it low copy pasting the same line and then making it reset so uh, on doing this uh, we will able to toggle the whole thing i mean toggle the led or a toggle it's high low high low that's it Uh, now we can build the code or upload the code directly to the uh, stm32 so this run function i'm clicking that button so now the project is building so first time we are uploading so this uh, screen will be there all default we can give okay and once your stm is con uh, controller um, microcontroller program is connected you will be uh, able to uh, do this and the device will be verified and it is written download verified successfully that means the code is uploaded to the device and this is the uh, size address like the programming details so with this we know our code is uh, downloaded successfully to our controller uh, but there is one issue in the code like after set there is a delay but after reset there is no delay then uh, we will not be able to recognize the switching off and on of the led so again let us add one more delay after the reset like once it's off again one second let's wait then switch it on now the code will this is a actual code for blink that was uh, that again we'll upload this this thing so it's uploading and it's successfully uploaded so now let us see uh, the output so this is my stm32 microcontroller and uh, you can see uh, it is blinking right c13 is the pin over here it's blinking uh, thank you for watching this video if you have any comments or suggestions please post it thank you